Ram traders say low petrolies is affecting sales. Plus TV's correspondent Mary Chinda visited the Sura market in Obalinde, Lagos, and brings us this report. Ram, ram, ram. It is a season where male sheep are purchased and slaughtered to mark the Eid al Kabir festival. It is a symbolic celebration of the sacrifice offered by Prophet Ibrahim, who was willing to offer his son before Allah provided him with a male sheep, popularly referred to as Ram, especially in this part of the world. For Muslims in Lagos, Nigeria, the Ram market appears to be busy for last minute buyers. Adam Ali and Malam Garuba are Ram sellers. They say the purchases are low compared to last year's. The price of the, the Ram so far is high, and people turning out to buy it is very low. 150 a day, 80,000 a day, 70,000 a day, 60,000 massive a day. Yes, now, now the price, the amount why you sell it for this market now. Buyers say there is a little money to buy. If I found the one where they see it's 120, 100. I won't buy this small buffet, it's 30,000, but I don't have money to buy it. Yeah, the price is expensive everywhere. We haven't come from Kara to come and check around it, so it's expensive. I think we, we, we see a cheaper price, as you can see now. This is like 100,000 euros, can you see? The major concern is with the fact that while the prices of rams have gone up, the economic recession occasioned by the COVID-19 global pandemic has made ram go off a lot more. A ram that, as at last year, went for 40,000, now goes for as much as 70,000, and rams that used to go for 70,000 now goes for as much as 120,000 naira. As Muslims celebrate the Eid al-Kabir, Government's call is for their continued prayer for the nation. Mary Chinda, reporting for Plus TV Africa. Joining us to talk more on this is Tajuddin Adebanjo, the National Secretary, Muslim Media Practitioners of Nigeria. Good morning and thank you for joining us. Mr. Adebanjo, can you hear me? I can hear you. Good morning. Good morning. A pleasure to have you join us on the news. Please refresh our minds on the significance of Idel Kabir. Well, basically, the significance of Idel Kabir is all about sacrifice, submissiveness, obedience, and uh, piety. Sacrifice in the sense that if you look at uh, what brought about the ram, he thought to be the son of uh, Prophet Ibrahim, sacrificing his uh, son, Ismahe. But fortunately for him, Allah replaces uh, the son with a ram. That instead of you slaughtering your son, we are giving you a ram because you will be, you will be our holder, and which is comes with obedience. Obedience in terms of the son, Ismahe, allowing his father to fulfill Allah's uh, will. And he told his father, when his father was feeling, not feeling too good about sacrificing him for Allah, despite that they have the son at very old age, Ismail told his father that fulfill the promise of your Lord. I will be so, you will find me submissive. And the last part is the wife of uh, Ibrahim, Prophet Ibrahim, being submissive, to her, to, to her husband. They had the child at very, very old age. And after nurturing the child to a certain stage, her husband told her that we need to sacrifice this child to Allah and the like. For a woman, it would have, a contemporary woman wouldn't take that. But he said, whatever your Allah commands, I'll, 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 I'll abide by it. And thereabouts, she abided by it. And at the end of the day, what Allah actually wanted from, the, from the, the family of Ibrahim is to see how pious they are, is to see how obedient they are to him. And once Allah discovered the Allah said, Look, you have actually showed that you are, a piety, you are a pious person and we will not take your child. Instead, we will replace this with the ram. Right. So that is, the, that is one of the, the four cardinal points. 
Okay, I tell us about the... Uh, Mr. Adebanjo, can you hear me? Tell us about the killing of Ram and why Ram and who should kill the Ram. Well, the killing of, uh, slaughtering of Ram is uh, what is for all those who are able to do it. If you have the financial needs, is you are, a husband can slaughter a ram, wife can slaughter a ram. If you have a grown up children, they can as well slaughter ram. If, for instance, I'm slaughtering and my dad is slaughtering, my brothers are slaughtering, my sisters are slaughtering, even my wife too. So it's for all those who have the means. If you don't have the means, it is not compulsory on you that you have to do it if you don't have the means. But if you have the means, it is bound on you to slaughter Iran because you have a lot of reward to get from it. And you All have right. to slaughter the ram with fear of God. That is another thing that comes with the Salah, with fear of God. You have to ensure that you sharpen your knife very well. You have, you have to ensure that you don't, and you don't slaughter the ram in the midst of other rams. If you have, for instance, in your neighborhood, you have about two or three rams to slaughter. You have to take them one by one to a place where the other rams will not see you slaughtering the, the other ones. So, because you need to also understand that they also have feelings as animals. All right. Um, tell us how this pandemic, because this is, uh, I think, the first time in the history that a lot of celebrations are being done amidst a pandemic. How is it affecting celebrations this year? Well, there are so many things. It's affecting a lot of things. For instance, so many people won't be able to travel to their states because in a, this particular sala has to do with movement from one place to another, especially traveling from your state of living to your state of origin. Majority of people in the southwest will leave, those who are live, staying in Lagos will leave Lagos to their town in Ibadan, Ijebu, Abiyokuta, Ondo, Ushubu, Akure, all, all over. But with this pandemic, there is, there is a way of there is a way of making people staying put in Lagos or wherever they had. For instance, I am not traveling now because of the pandemic, because I, I, I quite understand that I need to stay safe. It is those who are safe that can witness a salah and life. So you don't know what is happening, where you are going. You don't know how they are observing the COVID-19 uh, preventive measure there. So it is better you stay where you are, celebrate whatever you need to celebrate and Thank Allah for that. That is one. Secondly, you know, after we are supposed to go for heat prayer, but no, we can't do that again. Everybody has to pray at their home. So for, I'm going to pray with my family. So other people that have to play with their, uh, pray with their family at home instead of congregate at heat. And you know, the heat as well is, is fun. Aside from that, you have a lot of reward to get from there. It's also fun because you see a lot of people, thousands of people gathering at one place. That one we have been denied that one due to COVID-19. Aside that, after slotting the ram, after the whole thing, we still need to go out to, for merrymaking with our families, with our this, go to our Muslim park, go to here and there and the like to celebrate. But this time around, you can't do it. You have to confine yourself within your neighborhood. And even if I have to visit somebody in my neighborhood, I still have to put on my, wear my face mask and the like. So it's affecting a lot of things. And even in your report, you can see that the COVID-19 has also affected the purchasing power of the people. Despite that the, the prices of the RAM is high, are high this time around, but people were unable to even buy it because the whole so thing what, has what will be your core message to the people uh, during this celebration, especially uh, during this pandemic, that it, while they are celebrating, what do you want them to have in mind? What they should have in mind is that the first thing is safety. Safety of their lives is the first thing, and that is the key thing that they need to note. In, they, they shouldn't feel that, look, for today, let us enjoy ourselves and move around there and they're unprotected in terms of not wearing their face masks and the like. If they can try as much as possible to stay at home, it's better. Because whether we like it or not, this pandemic has come and it will surely live one day. So they will have so many other years to do so many things that we've been doing in the past. One, right. safety. Two, is, is moderacy in whatever they need to do. They should be moderate in celebration. They should not 
and they should ensure that they don't spend lavishly. This time around, the economy is not smiling. So we need to ensure that we curtail whatever we need to say. Unnecessary spending, they should curtail. And they should try as much as possible to stay safe. That All should right. be the message for this yes. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Tajuddin Adebanjo, for your time with us on the news and happy celebrations. Thank you very much. Yeah.